There are a lot of expensive DDR5 motherboards with beefy VRM setups out there, but you don't always need that for a good experience. If you have some older DDR4 sticks lying around or can find one for a good price, it's a more practical choice to go with the older platform. This choice also opens the door to a ton of affordable motherboards, including the excellent MSIB-760P Wi-Fi. Compared to its B660 predecessor, the B760P has a more robust VRM setup and support for faster memory. The older version only had an 8-phase power delivery configuration, while the newer version features 12 plus 1 phases. This makes it a more sensible choice for high-end Intel chips. As for the design, this is a very understated motherboard that doesn't have a lot going on. For a lot of people, the neutral design might prove to be a good thing. It has an all-black PCB, black heatsinks, and some white accents here and there. It won't stand out in any build, but it won't look out of place either. However, while the design is a bit boring, the performance certainly isn't. This 13-phase power delivery configuration is incredibly strong, as MSI is using a dual-rail power system with high-quality capacitors. It can easily handle almost any chip on the market, and that's saying a lot for a cheap B760 motherboard. With that said, it's important to consider that since it's a B760 motherboard, it doesn't support overclocking. That's true for all B760 motherboards, but it's still important to remember. Of course, considering how hot some Intel chips can get, a motherboard that doesn't allow you to overclock makes sense. You'd only be pushing the power and thermal requirements further, and you'd need a stronger cooler as a result. Moving on to the ports and connectivity, this board features a Realtek 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, Intel Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.2. In terms of USB ports, you get a 10 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, two 10 gigabits per second Type-A ports, and four additional USB 2.0 Type-A ports on the rear. You unfortunately only get two M2 slots, and MSI could have easily added another, considering this is a full-size ATX board. There are cheaper B760 boards out there, especially in the micro ATX category. For example, both the Gigabyte DS3H and Asus Prime B760 boards cost considerably less. However, both boards lack Wi-Fi and have weaker VRMs than the MSI board. It's also worth noting that you can also get the DDR5 version of this board. It's not significantly more expensive, but a DDR5 kit will definitely cost more. Other than that, both boards are about the same. Whichever one you go for, you won't be disappointed with its price-to-performance ratio. To sum up, what I like is the excellent price-to-performance ratio, the robust VRM design, the stealthy design, and the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6E. On the downside, there are only two M2 slots. Ratings. VRM design, 8.5 out of 10. Connectivity, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Features, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.